Whether you're looking to start a live stream on YouTube, Twitch or Facebook, all of these steps apply in one way or another. These are the steps needed to get a 24 hour live stream running and to keep it running. Number one, content. You're gonna need content. 24 hours is a long time to run a stream. You're gonna need a lot of content, at least four hours of content, I would say, to keep it interesting if you're looking coming back. They wanna see new things, they wanna see different things. So four hours at a minimum is how much content you'll need to get a good stream running. Two, the recording software. You're gonna need some sort of recording software, some sort of streaming software to connect to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, whatever, to get your stream up and running. We'll walk through that too. Three, what are you gonna run it on? You're gonna run it on a little computer, a dedicated computer, or you can run it in the cloud, servers, we'll talk about that. Four, making sure your stream keeps running. You wanna check on it, you wanna have regular reboots, stuff like that, we'll walk through all that too. So let's get into it. Probably have an idea for what you wanna stream already, but here are a few ideas if you're just thinking about it or you don't have any idea what you wanna stream. So you could do music, uh, kids shows, you could do television series, if you have the rights, you know, it's all a bit iffy wiffy. Best clips, compilations, motivational content, that's a big one. Cooking shows, you could just back to back cooking videos, niche videos, so if you've got niche tips and tricks, 100 photography tips and tricks, back to back photography all day long. You could do news or you could do other niche stuff like football, uh, cars, makeup or dance. You could have just videos on that all day long. So when we're searching for our content, first thing we're going to do is go to YouTube. If you type in on YouTube, whatever you want your content to be, and then you just go to the filter section and do Creative Commons. All this content is licensed for your use. You can use any of this content you like, just scroll through, you might not have the best videos to start with, but if you look through and pick some from your like exact niche or whatever you're trying to get videos for, you could get a good amount of videos from just searching through these Creative Commons videos on YouTube. The second option is to use royalty free videos. So if you just type in non-copyright videos or non-copyright music, if you're doing stuff like that, you can find a lot of assets that you can use, bundle together and use for your 24 hour live stream. As we said, you're gonna need a lot of content. You're gonna be trying to stream 24 hours constantly. You want, if people are gonna come back to your stream, they find it interesting, you want them to come back, obviously, you're going to need a lot of content to keep those return viewers engaged and to keep the new viewers engaged also. So four hours is recommended, but 10 hours if you can get it or shuffle in between videos to keep them interested, change them up every day, every week, whatever you can afford to do, that would be the best. So now let's go into the computer and I'll show you how to set up the recording software. So here are the two software we're going to need. We're going to need OBS which is the uh, streaming software, the recording software, and uh, go to the website, there'll be a link, first link in the description will be to the article and all the information will be there. Go to use your operating system and then just select your installer. We wanna keep a note of which um, version we're installing here, that if you're on Windows 64-bit or 32-bit, because that's gonna be important for the next step. So once you've got that then, you wanna go to VLC, this is gonna be the video software we're going to use um, you can probably do it with the built-in OBS software but it's easier and a bit better if you use this because it will keep running 24 7 the links in the article go to download VLC 64 bit or 32 bit depending on what you're on Windows if you're on Mac or Linux um, any version will work so once you've got these two softwares then we'll open up OBS I'm doing it on a Mac but um, Windows will work fine you want to Go to your scenes and you want to go to sources here. If you've got VLC installed, you should see VLC source. You want to add one of those. And then you'll be I'll have this window up here. In the playlist section, you can add to videos. Don't uh, drag them and drop them like I was trying to do. There's a little plus button in the corner here. If you go to add directory, you can keep all of your videos in the same place then. And if you just add the file or folder that all your videos are in, then if you change them or add videos, remove videos, which you can have a lot of content, you can um, just add them to this folder and then it'll automatically start playing. So that's that easy. If you make sure that it's looping and that the video is playing automatically, and press OK. And then once you're in here, then it should start playing your video straight away. So because you can see it clearly doesn't fit, if you right click on the video, go to settings and then transform here, press um, fit to screen. And no matter what size your video is, 1080p, HD, uh, 4K even, it will always fit to the size you want. So now if you go into the settings, we're gonna set up the stream. So settings and then second one down there, stream. I've already got mine set to YouTube. If you go that drop down, you can press it there. Uh, you wanna get your stream key. 
So that's what we're doing. You press the Get the Stream Key button. If you're on Mac, it'll take you straight to there. But if you go to the YouTube Studio and press Go Live, you'll get to the same page here. So you just want to say, yeah, go live now and then open up your window. It'll come and bring you into this page here where you've got um, your stream key there. You can see it's all blocked out. You just press copy. You want to copy that then. Go back into OBS now and just paste your stream key in there. If you're on Twitch or Facebook, it'll be a bit different. You just change the drop down and uh, put your different stream key in. Once you've done that, then go back into um, the stream settings. You want to set them up by right? the title, uh, description. We'll just put something uh, generic in, no matter what um, your stream's going to be about. And then we'll put the description, nice travel, 24 hours of travel or something along the lines. And then we'll just set our recording to public. So then once you're back into this recording software, then you want to make sure your audio sources are set. So as you can see here, my mics are on. So just want to disable those and make sure the only source is the VLC source. And then start your stream. You should now be able to go back into your YouTube studio and it will pop up and say you are live. So those are the settings to get your stream up and running. Now let's talk about what you're going to run it on. So I don't know your situation or what you're going to be wanting to do with your stream, but if you're just doing a personal stream, I recommend getting an old computer or maybe even building a computer that you can um, run the stream off for dedicated. It doesn't need to be that powerful depending on your stream. If you're just running a HD screen stream at 30 FPS, then it doesn't need to be that powerful. So if you just run it on an old laptop or something like that, it'll probably work just fine. Or you could build your own dedicated computer, have that set up somewhere out of the way so that you can just um, run the stream off there. It's not interrupted by anything else. No one's trying to use it for homework or it's not your dedicated home computer. Something like that along those lines would work well if you were just trying to run a little private stream. On the other hand, if you're trying to run a more professional stream, something for a business or like a company, I recommend getting a server or hosting it online in the cloud. There's some um, solutions like Obubble that offer competitive pricing for this. They're one of the biggest providers anyway. Some of their plans start from around 50 pounds a month. So clearly depending on what your situation is, if you're trying to do a stream for a company or a more private stream, then this might be good for you. Although if you're on more of a budget running off an old computer where you already have power and internet most probably in your house is probably the best option. As you can see here, this is the gold plan with Obubble and you get um, root access to the computer, 1080p streams, um, live viewers and it comes in at $49.99 a month. That's a USD so it's a bit different depending on where you are but as you can see the price can be quickly add up for a dedicated stream. So whether you run it on a laptop, a computer or a server, you're going to have to do maintenance on your system. So make sure that you do regular reboots, that you make sure all of your software is up to date, so your OBS, your VLC, your operating system, no matter what that is, Mac, Windows, whatever. Make sure you reboot your system regularly so that it doesn't get clogged up. Make sure the systems are running from the start, you know, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I do recommend you have an antivirus, but just make sure that you are on top of your system and that it doesn't get clogged up or full of stuff that could weigh down your stream, basically. And last but not least, make sure that you keep your stream interesting. If it's not interesting, there's no point in having it up because no one's going to be watching it. So change up your content, get involved in the community. So get in the chat, be talking to people, change up the content, add it, change it as people want. So listen to the audience and see what they want and then change it as you go. So if you are setting up your stream, please share them below and uh, I hope you do well and I'll see you next one. Peace.